On this journey to the top shelf and back again, Edward has a spiritual moment. Oh. My knowledge of pastries comes into question. What is a yes. desert pastry? And Edward invents his own drinking vernacular. Coin that thing. And so, <laughs> let's get into this episode of High Proof Brothers. Now we've got a rum from Australia's oldest distillery. Specifically, we're going to try the double cask aged five years. I know it's double cask. What are the casks, brother? So that would be two years and an ex brandy vat and then an extra three years in American oak barrels to give us five years of this nice dark liquid. Let's take a closer look. This handcrafted double cast aged five years from Beanley Artisan Distilleries is not as well known to your average Australian drinker, but that has not stopped them from turning molasses into barrel fulls of winning metals. From the far off coast of Hong Kong to NYC. Established in 1884, the now heritage listed site is a short drive from the Gold Coast, where the friendly staff will happily tempt you with what they have on offer, making it very hard not to walk away with a box full of goodies. And just take a look at how dark that is. That's darker than taking a swim in lava after you've lost the high ground. Alrighty, crack it open, bro. Oh, the holy on ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I can get that rum smell straight away from here. Mm. So what you should be seeing, or known as the vision, rich golden with gold ochre edges. Yeah. It is quite dark, which is probably telling us it's probably going to impart quite a lot of flavor in that. Mm. So I'm going to predict you might not like this one as much as I will. We shall find out. <laughs> You should have soft aromas of molasses, breakfast fruit toast, and dried coconut. Do what breakfast fruit is? <laughs> yeah, what's what, breakfast fruit? Yeah, is what, that like what fruit? Would you not eat for breakfast? I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to flash back to like when you go to those hotels, you know, the continental. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they got yeah. this sliced fruit out. For me, it's very molassesy. Coin that. Ding. It's my <laughs> molassesy. Yeah, I'd give it fruitiness, but mm -hmm. I don't know how the specificity of a breakfast fruit. <laughs> fruit adjacent. Yep. I'll have to go to a, um, a hotel again and uh, get some breakfast <laughs> fruits and figure it out. Yep, I'd say fruity and molassesy, mm. for sure. Coconuts, uh, I don't know. So on the palette, you should have a rich amara and traditional fudge notes are highlighted with floral characteristics. Apricot and desert pastry note evolve on the palette. Our double maturation process promotes toast and honey flavors Delivering a medium to long finish. That's a long paragraph. It is. And what is it a is. desert pastry? Uh, no, no, dessert. <laughs> I think it's a dessert. Oh, it's dessert pastry. Yeah, dessert pastry. <laughs> those ones. Oh, he's mixed up desert and dessert. Well, we're not here to fornicate with an arachnid, so let's get to it. Ooh, nice and thick. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Mm, it feels full on the tongue. It feels thick and sort of plays around. It has length to it as well, it's hanging around. Yeah. 40% ABV, so I think it's got good flavor for that ABV level. Uh, and I'm not getting this alcohol punch. Uh, the alcohol's yep. there, it's present, you know it, but it's not punching you in the face, and you're getting the toastiness, and you're getting the sweetness. I could drink this neat. But it, it does have enough flavor, and it has sort of enough boldness to itself, that I feel that it could also just mix in with a cocktail pretty darn well, without sort of being lost to it or anything else. But yeah, yeah, I'm actually pretty late like that. Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned for that episode. I might have to swap my, um, my, my, my usual rum. Oh, that. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm happy with that. Mm. I like the sweetness, I like the sugariness. Molassesy, toastedness, yes. Mm. I can't get much honey out of it. And the breakfast fruits have left the table. Yep. <laughs> I've totally forgotten about this breakfast fruits. These are nice. I'm happy. This yeah. is lovely. Hey. I think mean, that's pretty good value. Yeah. 52 dollars dues. Especially for an Australian uh, rum and that usually when Australian spirits, the, the prices of them are generally a lot higher because that taxes and everything else. So to bring one out of 52 dollars dues um, with that much, yeah, flavor and profile and everything to it. Uh, no wonder it's winning awards and getting spoken about in every other country except Australia. So I guess from the brothers. Yeah, a little thumbs up. And to a local. I know, just a little hop, skip and a jump up the highway for us mm -hmm. and we're at Bean Lane. And if you are a Beanley rep, come say hi. <laughs> uh, we'd love to do a video up there. That'd be really yeah. cool, hey, if we could do yeah, that one day. We should. Yeah, Old we should try and figure uh, out. Facilities. Yeah, love it. I'm happy. And we're the High Proof Brothers. Oh, that just ran up to the back of my throat and punched my tonsils. My empath predicts that this will be slightly bitter. It is. It's almost like a. I think it's. A, is it? No, they're classified as straw, isn't it? We're making pot. <laughs> 